What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness here. You're joining me on Monday. And it is currently nearly four o'clock, five to four. So I'm sitting here, you might wonder why I've got a coat on and everything. Well, the boiler's broken and there's people fitting new windows in. So uh, obviously the, the door's open so they can keep coming out. Uh, it's freezing cold. Yes, um, always something breaking in this ass. Well, yeah, it's seriously cold. Put the radiator on for it. was on. Put the boiler on for a bit. Nah, not working. So we'll have to um, report that and try and get it sorted. So again, chilling out on some FIFA with my brother, who's currently in Wolverhampton. Uh, if you don't know where I am at the moment, I'm in High Wycombe. There's a nice little gift my mum has given me some Turkish delight to take back to uni, so I'm back to eat the rest of this packet. You're joining me in the eating centre. We just got our pre work at GNC. Um, 30 servings, £16.50, gold standard platinum pre. Uh, not platinum pre, sorry. Uh, Optimum Nutrition gold standard pre, I think that's what, the exact title of it. So we're going to scoop it up. One scoop now, as I haven't took it for a while. What's going on, guys? I got tempted. Went into River Island, saw a nice t-shirt. Purchased it on sale, seven pound. Uh, khaki, long fit, uh, XXL, oh, double XL. That's a cheeky, cheeky size that is. Might be a little bit too big. Might look like a tent, who cares, uh, who cares. So everyone stares around here if you're recording. Let's go. So I'm looking currently somewhere that I can um, get a scoop of pre-workout into my shaker, shake it up and get that down my neck. So I'm not exactly sure how much gym footage we'll be able to get. Uh, it's Woodwardio, Danny Boy 911, Woodwardio's Adventures. He's currently still at home, uh, yet to return. I think he's coming back next week sometime, Monday maybe. So we'll get the in-gym videos going then. I would bring my Gorilla Pod with me now and do it, but the Gorilla Pod broke. Um, so that can't be done. But one subject that I really did want to speak about in this is steroids. So steroids are massively talked about in the fitness industry and bodybuilding especially, but then again, everything these days, sports, swimming, they're all at it, they're all juicing. So my views on steroids personally, personally, have I ever taken steroids? No. Would I take steroids? No. The reason for this is many reasons, and I have thought about it, I'm 21 years old, you know, it has come across like you train with people who are on steroids and that and you do think about it. So my re main reason is uh, nothing to do with the dangers or anything because it's proven that injecting testosterone can benefit a human being. So uh, it's more the fact that being dependent on testosterone for the rest of my life, I don't want to do that. Because when you inject testosterone for a long period of time, your body will stop producing testosterone. It, uh, in the body naturally won't be producing anymore so you'd have to inject for the rest of your life if, I, I don't see a point in going on steroids unless you're gonna do it for like a good period of time um, another thing is training on steroids massive gains massive strength stop the steroids uh, lose a fair bit of size I know you do keep quite a lot but a lot of strength has gone I know strength goes rapidly so can you imagine training with steroids and then feeling all that strong gains and strength and everything and then coming off the steroids and then getting nothing you wouldn't be motivated to train therefore you'll go back to steroids uh, another thing is the money it's a lot of money steroids are uh, cycles hundreds of pounds if you're going to do it properly it's waiting to cross the road now Woo! so yeah Personally, that, they're my opinions. Do I hate people that take steroids? No, I don't. I've got no reason to hate people that take steroids. Uh, it's up to them. Everyone's got their own calculated choice. If they're an adult, they have their own calculated choice, so they're entitled to it as long as it's not damaging anyone else or hurting anyone else. So, do I have anything against fake naturals? So, let the cards go back. So, this is someone that takes steroids and uh, denies taking the steroids. and. I don't really think I have anything against fake naturals. If they want to be a liar, they can be a liar at the end of the day. Everyone's different. Everyone's going to be different. Um, even some of the greatest people on the planet have lied. Um, if they don't feel 
they want to say, oh, I'm, I'm uh, not a natural, I take them their juices, um, due to like the hate that they would get. I don't blame them, like, why would you tell someone that you take steroids and just receive loads of hate for it? But, at the end of the day, why would you say, oh, I don't take steroids, I'm, a, I'm the same as this guy who trains naturally? So there's two sides to look at it. Uh, I don't have anything against them, I don't really have anything against anyone unless they've done something really bad, like touched a kid. So, that's it on that one. Oh, you can. So we're back home right now and I've had my post-workout shake, which was four bananas, 500 milliliters of semi-skim milk, two scoops of whey, which is 28 grams of protein, the whey that I take. Um, and it equals a thousand calories. Lost my track of thought there, I'm very tired. Don't know what that was. Yeah, a thousand calories that equals with 100 grams of oats in as well and a tablespoon of peanut butter. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Sorry if I'm a bit weird right now. I'm very tired. It has been great luck fitness. Sorry there was no workout footage, but as promised, it will be back when I ever get a gorilla pod or if Dan decides to get his ass up to High Wickham. <laughs>